Illegal dumping is a messy problem plaguing the Comox Valley. People are leaving unwanted furniture, electronics, and other junk wherever they think they can get away with it. On the side of the road, in the backwoods, even in the ocean. As CTV's Gord Kerbis shows us, a renewed effort is being made to combat the problem. Another load of garbage is being tossed into the sorting bins at the solid waste management facility just outside of Cumberland. These visitors are paying a price to dump their discards, something they see as fair. It doesn't cost that much to dump it properly, so and it's kind of an outing when you come out and to the dump. But they know not everyone is playing by the same rules. Just a few kilometers down the road, this has become a free dumping zone. Paint cans, tires, and even an old television set tossed illegally off into a ravine. It's just one of several locations the regional district knows is part of a growing problem. Really, most people think that nobody's paying attention. When they see that this is a nuisance problem in this area, and by the way, it's been considered to be illegal at this point, we know that there's going to be some positive reaction from that. Troy Nystrom has lived in the Comox Valley his entire life, and he says he's noticed an increase in the illegal dumping and can't understand why. He says people need to own up to their responsibility to get rid of trash properly. What kind of person does a thing like that and still goes home and feels like that was fine to do? That's what kind of gets me. Nystrom, like others, wonders if tipping fees imposed years ago by the regional district was the trigger for people dumping for free in nature. This former conservation officer says no. Garbage has always been a problem. It's going on for many years. Uh, I think it's just a case of, uh, in many cases, people are just too lazy to go to the dump. The, the first good spot they find, they dump. Ray Rogers now volunteers his time with the Courtney and District Fish and Game, a group that cleans up messes dumped on Mother Nature on an annual basis. He says part of the problem is the lack of enforcement. Within a couple of weeks, you'll see garbage right where we cleaned it up and it's just ongoing. Um, it's something that's going to have to be dealt with in the future if we expect to keep access in our rural areas. The regional district says increased enforcement along with an awareness and education campaign is being planned by staff. It's believed more information on that should be coming out by September. Gord Curvis, CTV News in the Comox Valley.